Hi, I'm Jane Rotzi. In this module, we're going to explore the structure of our HSC management system and look at some of its key components. Our HSC management system provides a framework that assists us to reduce the likelihood of serious events, achieve a high level of operational control for the management of common HSC risks, improve consistency in HSC performance and retain organisational knowledge. Our HSC management system is based on international standards. We follow ISO 45001 for health and safety and ISO 14001 for environmental management. Implementing the HSC management system is one of the key ways in which we comply with the HSC legal obligations that apply to Transurban. This diagram shows the hierarchy of documents in our HSC management system. Each of the layers work together to drive consistency in our practices across the organisation. These layers all have a different role, which I'll explain to you in more detail. Let's start at the top with our HSC policy. The policy outlines our commitment. That commitment is to provide a working environment that minimises risk to our people, the environment and the communities in which we operate. The policy includes our commitment to eliminate or minimise hazards and risks that have the potential to cause injury, health issues and environmental impacts or pollution arising from our work activities. Our overall objectives and how they're achieved and our commitment to comply with legal and other requirements. The policy is endorsed by our CEO and the board. Let's move to the next layer, our 14 HSC management system standards. These standards establish our minimum requirements for each business unit, asset and project. It's important for you in your day-to-day -day role to understand and live these standards. The standards speak to a range of areas across our business and they include things like leadership and accountability, HSC objectives, targets and improvement plans, managing change, incident management and monitoring, evaluation and continuous improvement. Our procedures are next in the hierarchy. Procedures describe the consistent and practical application of the standards and the way in which we meet the requirements outlined in the standards. For example, the Personal Protective Equipment Procedure takes you through our minimum standard of PPE that needs to be worn at our operational assets and project sites, or our Workstation Ergonomics Procedure, which is designed to support you and set your workstation up safely and correctly, whether you're at the office or at home. Let's now move to HSC Management Plans. HSC management plans document how we implement our HSC requirements at an operational level to address business unit, asset or project specific risk. For example, our Queensland market has a transurban Queensland HSC management plan to capture the jurisdictional legal requirements. HSC management plans can consist of separate work health safety plans and environmental management plans or they can be integrated. For example, the Eastern Distributor has a work health safety plan and an operational environmental management plan. In the final layer are our processes, forms, guides and templates. These include the HSC Walk Quick Reference Guides, Assurance Checklists and Enable On. These are just some of the tools we use to operationalise our procedures. Remember that you can access all the documents at any time through the Transurban Employee Network. It's important that we all understand refer to and follow these documents all the time to keep us safe, healthy, minimise environmental impacts and contribute to our overall well-being. Thank you for taking the time to complete this module.